Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a David Reynolds book, page 383, page number. Okay, in a new topic added, conditional probability, I'm going to start. Question number seven is my plan to discuss now. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, we have a two events, A and even two given mentioned. Probability of A is 0.8, okay? It means a circle of A, if you add them both, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5, it gives you 0 0.8. That is a very clear. Okay, and let's talk about the next line, point B is 0.7. It means if you add them, become 0.7. It's given by him. And intersection means 0.5. It means the middle part given. And all of you familiar, one thing you must know, uh, actually, uh, just quickly revision of the point. Uh, the middle part is called uh, probability of, uh, okay, or set to, sets concept, A intersection B. If there's an A and there's a B, this is called A intersection B. First of all, let me explain clearly. clearly. If sometimes you say no a complement, what is a complement? Except the circle of a, except the circle of a, shading everything is called a complement. I mean to say this. I mean to say this. This is called a complement. Okay, let's have a plan, and let's start a question. First of all, basic property of a condition property, you know it, and for a formula for the basic is that. Let's start. He said, find the a part. A part is a very easy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A slash B slash represent given that. Okay, so how to answer probability of B comes in denominator, it goes denominator and, and in the number A uh, intersection B comes. So I think first part is of the piece of cake, probability of B is 0 0.7, <clears throat> 0 0.7 directly and A intersection B I got 0.5. So first part is very, very clear. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So I will write later on, okay, or let me write. It's become five by seven. If I write in fractions or in, I think fractions is better, save my time. Let's talk about B part. B part is a probability of B slash A, B slash A. So clear and final point, the probability of A comes into denominator and probability of B intersection A. Let me tell you, uh, this is a holding commutative property. Commutative means if it's in the places B, A or A, B, no matter. A intersection B or B intersection A, no difference at all, they are same. This is called commutative property, but anyway, not in our syllabus, anyway, just for knowledge. Okay, what is this answer, point eight? So I'm writing point eight in denominator. And what is this answer, probability of A in section B, we have point five. <clears throat> so Alhamdulillah, I got five by eight, well, easy. <clears throat> now I go for the two important parts. Okay, so I need a space for it. So first of all, please take a screenshot if you need. So this is now A part, B part over. Now C I'm doing and then D I'm doing. So let's start. Okay, first of all, let me open the formula. What is the formula? Is a very clear probability. What is after slash, after given that? So probability of B complement comes in denominator and in the numerator common between A intersection B complement. Okay. It's a little bit hard, but anyway, inshallah, I'll try my best to explain properly. What about this? Same story. So probability of A complement in denominator and probability of B intersection A complement in the numerator. Here I will discuss one thing, few properties of set theory, sets concept. So first of all, let's start that one. First of all, you know B complement. And I tell you B complement, what's the complement stand for? For example, this is a base circle, this is A circle. If I ask B complement, it means don't shade the circle of B, take everything except the circle. I mean to say, take everything except the circle. This is called the values. I think idea is very, very clear. So let's talk about what is the B complement in this uh, diagram. So it means except the B circle. Look, I'm shading. I don't want this one. I repeat again. Let me erase all these things. And I think concept is very clear now. I need B complement probability. So it means I don't need B. I take rest. Rest means outside the circle of B. So 0.3. And what is answer? Uh, this is a probability itself. This is a probability itself. For your knowledge, these are probability. Okay. Even you know that what is a uh, what is the sum of the all the probabilities is, is equal to one. So 0 0.3 by one, it become again 0 0.3. So it means don't worry about these are given probabilities. So this is a, a B complement probability. I'm writing directly 0 0.3. I think is very very clear. Okay. All right. Uh, and second part, what this is interesting part. This is interesting part. But here I tell you some student, they're stuck. They don't know what to do in this kind of thing. If you don't know, we will make this kind of concept. This concept help a lot. Although I know how to read it, member present in A, but not in B. I repeat, member present in A, but not in B. 
is called half moon of A. Actually, it's called half moon of A. Repeat again, member present in A but not in B is called half moon. But if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you. Look here. This A come on the top. This B complement come on the second top here. And this intersection part come in the middle. Okay. What does A mean? A, common sense circle of A, I will shade here. So I will shade. So let's start. Shading circle of A. What is B complement? You know very well, except circle of B is shade everything. So it means I will shade everything. I will shade everything, except circle of B. And what is common shading between them? So common sense, if you show blue coloring, you can understand from here, this is common shading between both diagrams. And what I said before, this is a half moon of A is my answer. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I can say that my answer is 0.3. So its answer comes a one. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, very, very clear. Similar manner, I think this idea is very, very clear. And let's talk about the last part, what is important here. So probability of A complement, very simple, except circle of A shade take everything. It means 0.2. So I got here 0.2. That is very clear. And now talk, let's talk about uh, this one. What is this one? You know, first is simple, simple language. Okay? I say that not in B and not in A. Actually, not in A, not in B. Actually, what this means? This means outside and outside we have a zero. Why zero we have outside? Because when we have all members inside, okay, you can check it. If you add them, become one. How come check please? 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.2 will become one. So outside zero. In this sense, I got a zero answer. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, very clear. But if one student say, no sir, I'm not understanding how you take outside. So if you don't know, let's talk about that idea even. Whenever you stuck these kind of questions, so please draw these kind of Venn diagrams. You will understand, inshallah, very easily. Okay, what is A complement except circle of A shade everything? I'm shading everything, but not circle of A, not circle of A. What is B complement except circle of B shade everything? Okay, I'm doing say, shading outside. Okay, and what is common region? Look at here, uh, this, com this shade, okay, let me take a blue color ink so you can understand. This part shaded here, but not here. here. So it's not common. This part shaded here, but not common here, not common. So this outside shaded both diagrams. So it means outside the diagram is my answer. And that is, it means the outside circle is my answer, which is answer zero in this question. Alhamdulillah, I think the concept is completely finished.